We want to find c such that the probability of the absolute value of z is greater than or equal to c. That is equal to 0 0.05. So let's focus on the absolute value of z being greater than or equal to c. There's going to be two cases. The first case when we remove the absolute value. And the second case, we flip the inequality and then put a negative in front of c. So looking at the probability that the absolute value of z is greater than or equal to c, we break it up into probability z is less than or equal to negative c, plus the probability of z is greater than or equal to c. Now we're looking z, at z here being a normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. So this is going to be symmetric at 0. So if we're looking at the probability z is greater than or equal to c, that's going to be this area. And if we're looking at probability z is less than or equal to negative c, that's going to be this area. And because this is symmetric, finding this area is the same thing as finding this area. So this area right here is just the same thing as probability z is greater than or equal to c. So there's going to be two of those. So that is going to equal the 0 0.05, because remember this is equal to 0 0.05 from the given. Dividing both sides by 2, we get the probability that z is greater than or equal to c is 0 0.025. Now, again, here what we're saying is that this area right here is 0 0.025, which is the same thing as saying that this area right here is 0 0.975. So if we do the complement of 1 minus probability of z less than or equal to c is 0 0.025, we see that the probability of z is less than or equal to c is 0 0.975. Now we want to solve for c, so we do the inverse norm of 0 0.975, and we get that is equal to 1.96 which is C.